How's it going everybody? Brody Kimo here from Reload of Hawaii. Thank you for watching another video. If it's your first time checking out my channel, please consider subscribing by clicking that subscribe button down at the bottom. And don't forget to click that little bell on the side so you can get notifications to when I post a new video. Today we're going to be talking about one of the essential things to have when you start shooting, and that is... A really good range bag. Just like anything else, when you're shopping for stuff on the internet, range bags are no exception. They come in a variety of different companies, prices from $50 all the way up to $350. And you start to ask yourself, hey, this $50 bag looks exactly like this $350 bag. Is it worth that much of a difference? Or even how big of a bag do you need? What are the things I'm supposed to look for? Do I want to future-proof my bag by getting a bigger bag in case I decide to get more firearms? And the answer is probably yes, so let me show you why. I got this guy back here from Midway. This is a competition bag. Just about for $60 last Christmas, and I've had this for just about five years, and I've taken this all over the place. Let's have a closer look at it. One of the cool things about this $60 bag, outside of it looking like that after five years, is that it came with a lot of extras. For example, there's a bag that fits inside of this bag that I don't have right now. It's someplace in storage. But that bag can be taken out and used for ammo. And within that bag, there are other slots for magazines. There's also these dividers in there that you can use in this bag as well as the other bag to separate things. So that was nice. They give you this little pouch for your casings, which is a nice little touch. It's got a little uh, ring on there so you can attach it to whatever you need to attach it to. And you also had two of these gun sleeves as well. And this fits a wide variety of pistols. So you get that, another bag, and all this stuff for 60 bucks. That's a heck of a deal. Let's start with this long side here. You're gonna see two tabs where the zippers are here. The newer ones have finger loops in them, so it's a little bit easier to open. But these zippers are really thick. They're all the way around the bag on every compartment. Nice padded side here. I'm gonna slide this back so we can open this up and have a look. You're gonna see eight slots for magazines in here. That's a ton for me. Nice accessory pocket in here. I like the way this flap folds all the way down so you can actually do some work on here and put your firearms. And there are elastic loops in here if you wanna hang extra things. I got a pen in here. I don't know, you can put whatever you need here. But that's it for this compartment. Okay, moving around to one of the short sides here. This is uh, where I got my, I don't know, water bottle or oil. Here's where I store my ears, you can see here. And you can also see how thick the zippers are on this side. Moving right along to the second long side here. These are just really big accessory pockets. I'll show you what I'm keeping in this one here. You see how wide it opens. You also have some elastic that you can hang things from in here as well. I got my binoculars in here, multi two, and some clips, some binder clips for holding targets down. On to the last side here. Here's where the place is for your ID badge if you want to do that. This is just a larger accessory pocket. I have in here all my spare, like my eyes, spare you know, ear muffs and ear plugs. Included is a nice swivel shoulder strap that you just kind of clip on here, so that's nice to have. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so we can have a better look right here on the top. Nice Velcro carry handle. Two large zippers on here. I'm going to use this tab. Pull this back like this. Now let's see what's in here. I got one, uh, 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 two, three, four, and I should have a snubby in here, five. You could probably fit one more of the longer sleeves in here. Uh, you got two more accessory pockets here, one on this side as well. And don't forget, if you didn't want to use any of that, you can just put that other bag that I mentioned inside of here. And all of these are padded. This top is padded. All the pockets are padded all the way around. Hell of a bag. Well, all right, guys. That's the ending of this review. I hope you found it useful. Remember, if you want to check out this bag, go to MidwayUSA.com. It's their competition bag. I'm not endorsing this bag. But just look for the things that I went over there, and you're going to have yourself a bag that's going to last you a really long time. So again, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please share it as much as possible. Give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.